Hello and welcome to Pandora's Box. In this tech tutorial, we're going to cover OpenCore, specifically how to easily update your OpenCore install to the most recent version. Now, first of all, we're going to need to download some helpful utilities and tools to be able to do this, all of which will be linked in the description below. So we'll go down to our web browser, open our web browser, at a website called github.com and in the search bar on the top right we'll type in mount EFI and press return there it is court mute mount EFI click on that and then go to the green button that says code and download the zip okay we've done that we'll go back to the original page and type in hacking tool. There it is, head case hacking tool. Now on this one, we'll go down on the right hand side and you can see it says latest version. Click on latest and you will download the hacking tool zip from the list. And go back to the original search page. Finally, we need OCAT. This stands for Open Core Auxiliary Tools, which is the main tool that makes this easy to update with. Click on Return. There's the one at the top there. Click on that. Again, go to Latest, not the code. Click on Latest. And down here, you'll see the Mac image download that so now we're done with our web browser now next of all what we need to do is install and use these tools so I've created a folder on the desktop and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move all the items that we just downloaded Copy them into there just to make it easy to understand. So first of all, we need to go to the Mount EFI update that's here. Double click into the folder and you'll see it says Mount EFI automated quick action. That's what we want. So we'll double click and open the zip file. This um, opens the script that you can see here. Now if we double click on this, It'll ask you to install and you click install and it will go ahead and do it. I already have it installed so I'll just click cancel but you guys carry on. Once that's done you then go back and we will right click and open hacking tool because it's the first time running it. Okay let's try again there we go, it gives you the choice to open. And we've opened it. This is just for me to show you what version of OpenCore that you're running, to see what version of OpenCore you're running. So at the moment, it says OpenCore 8.0, 8.1 is available, so that's what I'm going to use. But I'm not going to use this to do it. So I'll quit that. And now we open the OCAT. And as you can see, the image opens on the desktop and we copy across the OCAT tools into our folder. Close this and get rid of that disk image. So when we open OpenCore tools, it'll be the same as hacking tool because it's the first time running. Right click, click open and then click open and it will open. That's telling me here that I'm running OpenCore 8.0. Now, once we have that open, we need to have the EFI uh, config plist. So to do that, we go over to our hard drive icon, our system drive, right click on it, and you'll see quick actions. And there is Mount EFI that we installed earlier. Click on that and it should ask for our password 
that we use to install things the password that you use to get in and as you can see the EFI drive gets mounted and it opens a window with the EFI folder in so anytime you need now need to go um, mount an EFI you just right click on the drive quick actions and you can do it that way simple as that so I'm opening the EFI folder the open core folder itself and you can see the config plist I am going to drag that onto the open core icon down in my dock and it will open so now I'm going to go over to where it says upgrade open core and kects click on that and then I'll click check for kext updates and it will just run through going through there to see if we need any updating as we can see whatever green and apple alc need updating so i'll click update kexts Now we go over to here where we can choose which version of OpenCore we're updating to. So I'm going to click latest version and click on get OpenCore. There you go, the database has been successfully updated. So now 8.1 is in there and we start sync and it's successfully updated. Click OK. Go up to file and go save. And that will now update your config plist. Close open core, uh, close open core auxiliary tools, and we're done. Should now be able to close that. Get rid of that, and you're done. So now, if you reboot, it should boot into open core 8.1. Okay, so now we've rebooted, we just need to do one more thing and that is to validate that all the settings are okay. So we go over to our system drive, right click, go back down to quick actions, mount TFI. It should ask us for a password, which we put in. And that will open the window, open the EFI and open the window to the EFI. Scroll down to the, where the config P list is again. I'll go over to here and I will open auxiliary tools again. There we go. I'll grab the config P list and drag it onto the auxiliary tools icon in the toolbar. As you can see, there is an exclamation mark there. Well, this is the validation check. So if I click on that, it'll tell me what's wrong. So we've got 8.1, but it's found a problem in the picker mode. Misc boot picker mode. So I'll close this. I'll go down to misc. Picker mode is on built in, it needs to be on external. I then go up to save. And now you can see that that validation, if I click on it, it's all okay. We can quit auxiliary tools. And if you open Hacking Tool and click Boot, it'll show you that we're all on 8.1 and it's all hunky dory. There we go, I can close everything and eject the EFI. And we're all done. Well, I hope that has helped. Please click like and subscribe.